Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Timmy Banjo. If it's your first time here, a very big welcome to you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for clicking on this video. And obviously, you might have a similar problem or from the title of this video you already know what i'm about to say or about to talk about so without wasting time please kindly subscribe to my channel if you are new here and give this video a thumbs up and let's just get right into today's video all right so i'm going to be looking at my phone a lot of times in this video because i do not want to miss anything and the timestamp, everything that happened i'm going i screen i made a screenshot of them so i'm also going to be posting them on the screen for you guys to see so my um my instagram account was deactivated on like the 27th of september and the first thing you should know or the first thing you should like think of if you want to get your account back is that you can get it back and that stuck in my head i used to tell you guys how powerful your mind is i repeat it over and over again in this channel or on this channel of how powerful your mind is laws of attraction just keep saying and prophesying what you want i knew i was going to get my account back therefore every other account i've been opening were always deactivated and i'm like this is a sign that i should actually just concentrate and get my old account back and let me tell you the steps i was taking first of all you see the error message that your account has been disabled for violating our terms blah 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 click on learn more when you click on learn more you want to fill the part where it says that your business your account is not for business if not you have to provide tax information your business name and all that so please just click on no your account is not for business then once you do that you will fill the um, form that is appearing on your screen and when you fill that form when they ask you for your location always always put united states of america because it comes up as priority you know country for them to efficiently answer you don't put any other country no matter where you are put united states of america that's what i put so i put united states of america and if possible you can use a gmail that's if you have a gmail account because gmail account they i don't know what's it with gmail accounts but they are so efficient with things like this but if it's not the account you use to open your instagram use another account because i used a gmail account at first and they were like they can't respond to me with an alias email i know they would have responded if i had done some other things but let's just leave that aside but you can use a gmail if you want to because it's faster that way if you can't use a gmail use the accounts that you use in opening your instagram account so once you feel all that they are going to um, reply you <coughs> They're going to reply you and if you notice that it keeps saying confirm your account to request a review even when you filled everything and everything is fine and they're like go to instagram to confirm that it is you before requesting a review just close it close everything leave it alone come back the following day and fill it again okay don't be bothered so once you do that they are going to reply you almost immediately whenever i whenever i feel this stuff i get my response in like five minutes because i did it about four times and i was always you know taking picture mock shots with my um, paper with the number that was given to me my name and everything so i was always taking that and sending it to them and you want to make sure that it is clear i always used a marker to write on it not by row. make sure you use a marker to write on it so that it is boldly written and the final one i did which was later um accepted was i spoke to somebody who her account was also deactivated and she was like oh she had to like something just told her to stand close to something that she has posted on her instagram and something that has her name also so that it's like so that it will be easy for them to verify verify and to like ascertain that you are the owner of the account saying that something you have posted or your name is just close beside you in the picture you are going to send so that's like gave me oh yes that's true so what can i do to make sure i can um, 
do that like take a picture side by side with what i have on and i've told you guys that subsequent accounts i've been opening were always deactivated and that's because i made a mistake of using the same email address that was already deactivated the image address i used for temi banjo was the same one i was using for temi banjo 01 temi banjo 1 so everything was just getting deactivated which is understandable so I just you know left it and concentrated on temi banjo only and to get it back so once they reply with you with the thanks for contacting us before we can confirm it is you please they'll give you a code obviously i'm sure you'd have received that code and most of you would have done it and you're just waiting for them to reply you and they, you didn't get any response so once they give you that code they'll tell you what to do and how you should write it first thing is the code your full name and your account name so what i did was stand beside my graduation picture stand beside my award like all the pictures that i know had my name all the things i know had my name my picture thankfully i had a well, um, frame that had my picture and my name on it my full name on it so i stood beside it and if you look at it you look at my name and you see the picture you see my name there and that was you know easy for you to verify it is me and also i wanted to say because i heard somebody say she deleted her facebook account and almost immediately she deleted her facebook account her instagram account was deactivated now it's like instagram is just sharing the activation for everybody and i don't know, even know why also you want to make sure you do not make use of any third party app like they don't like that thing all those third party app you used to check on so other features that are not available on instagram please just delete it you don't need it i'm telling you now once and for all just delete it because before any other thing will happen to you delete them make sure you read the instagram community guidelines because you don't know what is what is what these days so make sure you get familiar with them make sure you try and um keep your page clean as much as possible because it all has to do with the community guidelines and also what i noticed that accounts that aren't linked to facebook are easy targets like those accounts are because timmy banjo was not linked to my facebook it is my beauty page that is linked to my facebook that's timmy banjo beauty that's what is linked to my facebook although i know how to change it now i know how to you know link my facebook account with any instagram account that's 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 another story but most of the time is these accounts instagram account that are linked to facebook accounts that are always targeted i've not heard of any accounts that um, was linked to a facebook account that had this issue and once you send the um, picture to them with your name like your mug shot hold on for like a week at least up to a week or 10 days for them to respond don't just keep on sending and sending and sending because you you bombard them with so many information that they will not even know which one to choose from so just hold on for at least 10 days one week to 10 days is enough i waited for four days because once i sent that one i was so sure i was going to get my accounts back and i even knew the day i was going to get my accounts back in the morning when i woke up I received the mail and I was like, yes, I know, I knew, I already knew I was going to get the account back. I knew it was going to be a part that particular day. I was going to get it back. So just hold on for them. I sent the, I sent the email I, on um, Friday and I got my accounts back on Tuesday. That was like four days. So it could take longer, but once it's like 10 days to two weeks, you can send another email and please don't bombard them with your um, emails and all that and all that so so they have the particular one they want to choose from also there are other ways of getting your accounts back i've heard people like live chats with them um, facebook employees themselves through facebook they do that through facebook and the channel which you have to go through that is kind of really long i tried it at some point and you know it didn't really work for me and it was just too long for me so i just stuck to this normal one that everybody does and thank god this one worked for me so i hope i was able to share tips with you and also please try and do your two-factor 
authentication it is very important try and do that two factor authentication i mean you should secure your account as much as possible because i don't know i don't know what's going on these days so that is really important that was what i was trying to remember so i think that's it for this video please if you have any questions for me feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and if you made it up to this point and you are not following me yet please hit the subscribe i said follow me if you aren't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and leave your questions for me in the comment section below also if you know any other ways which you can get your instagram account back be sure to leave them down in the comment section below and you can also check other of my videos as i love to film and you know make funny not funny videos like helpful videos each and every day so yeah that's it and i hope to see you in my next one bye